what is the Riemann hypothesis and why do we care? And why did Riemann care? Well, there are many of us who care, so much so that the Clay Math Institute has uh, established a $1 million prize if you are able to solve the Riemann hypothesis. The Riemann hypothesis is a question, a conjecture, about the Riemann set of function. The Riemann set of function, defined like this as an infinite series, is uh, a function of complex values, and the question is, where are the zeros of the Riemann set of function? What are the complex numbers s such that the Riemann set of function of s equals zero? Actually, the Riemann hypothesis is not about this function, but about the meromorphic continuation of this function. So it turns out that this function, as defined, only converges in this half plane of the complex plane. So if you want a function that converges everywhere, there is actually a unique way to extend this one in a meromorphic way uh, that has a unique pole at one. And uh, that's the one that we are interested in, in the zeros of that extension. For example, the continuation of zeta to the critical strip, uh, the strip in the complex plane between 0 and 1, so this band here, is actually given by this expression. The ribbon zeta function, or rather the continuation, actually does have zeros in this side of the complex plane. It has zeros at every negative even integer, and those are called the trivial zeros. And the rest of the zeros have to be in the critical strip. They have to be between 0 and 1, so in this area of the complex plane. And the Riemann hypothesis says that every one of those zeros is in this line, in the line of complex numbers that have real part equal 1 half. There are ways to check uh, computationally the Riemann hypothesis and find zeros in the critical strip, and so far every zero we have found is in the critical line. For example, the first one is at 1 half plus 14 point dot 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 uh, i. Uh, and there are many more. This has been verified up to height like 10 to the 13 or something like that. So why do we care? We care because the Riemann zeta function is intimately connected to prime numbers. In fact, this was already known to Euler way before Riemann that, for example, the Riemann zeta function can be expressed as an infinite product over primes of these factors. But the reason why Riemann cared is that the Riemann set of function is connected to the prime counting function, the pr counting function that gives you the number of primes p up to x, which is, of course, something that is fundamental to understanding the distribution of prime numbers. Riemann was instead in studying this uh, prime counting function, which counts not only primes, but it counts with uh, some weights, also prime powers up to x. And what Riemann found is an exact formula for that prime counting function in terms of the logarithmic integral of x. Uh, so the logarithmic integral plus or minus a sum of uh, values of the logarithmic integral uh, minus log 2 minus some integral. Uh, this is the definition of the logarithmic integral, by the way. And uh, the important part is this sum here. These rows are zeros of the Riemann zeta function. So uh, what makes this formula exact would be if you knew all the zeros of the Riemann zeta function. And if you know that they are exactly in the critical line, uh, that gives you estimates uh, for how big that function is, and it allows you to give more precise estimates of how many primes and prime powers are there up to x. For example, one such consequence of the Riemann hypothesis is that the usual prime counting function is pretty close to the logarithmic integral of x. Uh, the error is smaller than this number.